Hey guys. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I, uh... I don't know. I, I just... I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that... I... I just mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually could just not understand... Oh, and intelligently, I'm sorry. Cannot understand how people can follow a person that is so blatantly fucked up. And continuously make excuses for this person. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I literally do not understand this. Like... I want to make an example. Like, I told my, I told this person that I know, I'm not gonna say any names. I told them something that Trump said, right? Okay, if like y'all didn't know I was talking about Trump before, then then I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, so I said something to them, a statement that Trump said literally on TV. It was on live TV. Like, he literally said it. They have it all over the place. I literally told this person what he said without saying who said it. And you know what's funny? Is they thought it was bullshit. Interesting. So, what that tells me is that it just, it's just the person then, right? Interesting. So, you, so people can agree that the shit that Donald Trump says is fucked up if they don't know that Donald Trump said it. What does that mean? I don't know. It does not make any sense to me. Like, it... <sighs> like, if someone said, and there was proof, okay, that someone said that this person said that gays are a piece of shit, that they're disgusting or whatever, you know, just some homophobic bullcrap. And let's just say that I didn't know who this person was. Obviously that statement is offensive and I'm not going to like it very much. But let's just say, however, that they said it was by a particular person that I actually like. Guess what? I'm done following them. Point blank period. Cut and dry. That's it. Over. Like, I'm not going to support a person that has blatantly been either, you know, racist, homophobic, prejudiced, judgmental, like, any kind of shit, any kind of freaking way, I'm not gonna support you, like, I don't eat fast food, y'all know this, but, if I did, I wouldn't eat a Chick-fil-A, because Chick-fil-A is fucking homophobic as shit, so fuck them, and, you know, obviously my wife doesn't eat there either, because fuck that, but, my point is, I don't deal with like, my thing is that they're not blind, okay? How can you, th how can you agree that something someone says is morally wrong or just ignorant, but still follow them? Like, still support them? Like, there's so much shit that Donald Trump says and does and has said and done and continues to say and do. That is literally just idiocracy just flowing out of his mouth like word vomit. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, how can you support someone when you see them on TV and they just start spewing shit and you can just tell that they are so unintelligent when they speak. They're so just not well versed, just, just dumb. Like, they try to just work around the question like I don't 
get it. Like, look, look, I'm not a prolific speaker. I'm not somebody who uses big words and just, you know, whatever. But I feel like I'm still a lot more just vocally intelligent than he is. Like, that is just some sad shit for me. I, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be whatever, but isn't that the same thing that the, some of the Germans did when Hitler was up there? They just believed every little thing they say. There was no proof. Absolutely no proof that Jewish people were evil, that Jewish people were disgusting. There was literally no proof. But just because one dude had, like, some weird underlying, like, obsessive hatred towards these group of people and because he had he was very a very good manipulator and very good at stroking dumbass people's egos okay he was able to convince so many people so many people that these jewish people had to be like eradicated like that is intense like that is like insane it's amazing but in like the worst way possible like if you have the capability to do that that is literally like crazy like it's horrible and it's disgusting but like Jesus you know but like my thing is how like how like, I don't understand what he does for anyone. Like, the people that have voted for him, like, what does he do for you? Like, does he send you, like, personal letters and, like, video chat you? Or, like, you know, send you a little gift on your birthday? Like, what is and what exactly does he do for you? Because he treats his followers the same way he treats everybody else. Like, shit. He doesn't give a fuck about this country. He doesn't give a fuck about people living in this country. He doesn't give a shit he doesn't what is he fixing he nothing I'm sorry but I have not seen any positive changes since he's been in office I've seen a bunch of negative changes but I haven't seen positive changes I haven't seen the gas prices go down I haven't seen the education system get any better I haven't seen any jobs created I haven't seen any like increase like uh, decrease in poverty I haven't seen any decrease in homelessness I haven't seen any like there I haven't seen anything I haven't seen anything there is literally nothing that this man is doing that is making this country any fucking better than it is like we know and, like, literally, I tell people around me, I'm like, bro, like, I'm seriously gonna run for president when I'm 35, like, and people literally think I'm joking, but I'm like, bro, I ain't playing, like, when I hit 35, like, you best believe, like, I got 10 years to prepare myself, like, you best believe I won't be running this country because we need some fucking change up in this bitch, unfortunately, you know. I'm only 25, but we need some damn change, and I need some time to educate myself on the political history of this motherfucker, and how to actually be a politician, so, but anyway, beside the point, I just don't get it, I don't get it, you literally cannot say that you are not racist, you cannot say that you're not racist, you can't say you're not homophobic, you not. You cannot say you're not prejudiced, you can't say you're not sexist, um, or anything like there like if someone says that you're racist because you follow Trump I'm sorry honey but you're racist I'm sorry like really sorry sorry to like break your heart and burst your bubble and like ruin your fucking day but you are you are a bigoted prejudiced motherfucker because you can't <coughs> sorry I'm getting all fucking riled up anyway you can't follow somebody who is blatantly a piece of shit is literally like <sighs> he's homophobic he's sexist he's racist he's prejudiced like he's just like he's a fucking pedophile let's just go there with that he's misogynist he's everything he's a fucked up human being let's just be real if you can follow someone like that do not come to me and tell me you're not racist because you are 
Do not tell, come and tell me that you're not sexist, because you are. Do not tell me that you're not homophobic, because you are. Do not tell me that you are not a bigot, because you are. I'm sorry, like, you might not think that you're racist or that you're a bigot because, you know, you don't say that shit out loud, but you are. Because you know why? Because when I talk to people like that and they use but in every other fucking argument, sorry, but you're a bigot. Point blank period. Do not argue with me. If I tell you that it is wrong for black people getting killed by police, do not say but. I swear to God, because the first time you say but... I'm going to punch you in your fucking nose. Because that is, like, the dumbest fucking argument. Like, where is there a but? Where is the but in this argument? Other than your face. Because your face looks like an ass right now. You look like a whole ass. Because you're being fucking ignorant. Like, where? Where is this but? Because there's no but to any of this. There's literally not. Like, there's no but. It either is or it isn't in that kind of a situation. Like, to you, it's either wrong that black people are getting killed by cops or it's not wrong. You can't be in the middle with that. You cannot be in the middle with this kind of shit. I'm sorry, but it you just, you can't. It either is or it isn't. And to me, it is wrong. I'm sorry, but anybody getting killed by the police that's innocent is fucking wrong because you know why because the police are fucking idiots let's just be real they're fucking dumb as hell you know why because they abuse their power not all of them maybe not but they still do abuse their power and if they don't abuse their power and they're you know a good person and a moral person you're still working for a systematic bullshit ass government run company organization whatever the fuck you want to call it so you're enabling sorry um yeah they abuse their power so just saying they do and the one argument that I hate beyond anything well no actually I hate a lot of arguments that people have to try to come my way but the one that has been really getting on my nerves lately is when people say well they should just behave or just don't run from the cops don't don't do 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 and it's like okay so because a person is scared and they're being mistreated by the police or even if they're not and they just want to dip out whatever the case is that's no justification for fucking killing a person like I'm sorry but like If a person is running from you and your first instinct is to shoot them, you've got some serious, like, you got some serious issues. Like, there are so many ways to detain a person, if need be, but they want to just kill you. They're just like, ah, fuck it, whatever. Like, what? You don't need... Also, you don't need, like, 20 cops on one fucking person, dude. Like, you don't need, like, five or six cops holding one person down. And you don't hold a person down on the fucking ground to the point where they can't fucking breathe. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, and then all these cops, and, you know, some of these cops like, well, you know, we need more training. Bitch, you don't need fucking training. It's common fucking sense. You don't need to take these goddamn classes to know how not to kill somebody. Motherfucker, I go out I go outside every day. You think I need fucking educational training to know not not to not kill someone? Are you kidding me? Like fuck the police. Fuck them. We don't need them. I'm so sick and tired of these aggressive ass shit. You know what you need to do? Get motherfucking therapists out there. 
get some good ass fucking therapists out there get some mental health clinicians out there and let's see how well this goes because you know what all these cops want to do all this government all the just they just want to lock people up and just say fuck it they don't want to help they don't want to fix situation it's like it's like when you got a fucking cut and you just put a bandit on it but you put an ointment on it you don't sew it up i don't know you don't try to fix the wound you just keep putting band-aids on it and it's at the point now where the fucking thing is infected so hello hello like i don't care not once have i ever needed the cops i don't give a shit i don't need them none of us really fucking need them we can handle our own fucking shit as far as i'm concerned my thing is fucked up don't no. Some that is so fucked up. If someone's mouthing off to you just because you're a fucking cop, you think you have the audacity to fucking beat the living shit out of somebody, by the way? Interesting because you know what's funny is that when cops are called to a domestic violence case, they are yet the first people to say, "Well, you can't just be aggressive towards somebody." if they just said shit to you people say that shit all the time you can't just hurt somebody you can't just punch somebody you can't just assault somebody because they said shit you didn't like so why is it okay for cops to do that can we just can we just be honest here why is it okay for them because they're above the law bitch (laughs) fuck you you ain't above shit you're a piece of shit as far as i'm fucking concerned so that's all i gotta say really so I'm just getting irritated at this point but peace out y'all